The Dawn Time Core, you say? You have made a very wise choice. Let us put in the Dawn Time Core. Oh, <gasps> thank you, dear traveler. Time can now flow freely once more. Oh, that is really cool. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. Is that it? Can I can I steal time? Give it, give it here, give it. No. Nope. All right then. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Wow. Look at that beauty. Finally. Oops, that was a bit strange. <laughs> the time steward became the new keeper of time. All right. He still finds time for a spot of badminton on an evening. <laughs> I guess we're in the credits roll now. Amy and Juliet have moved beyond sending secret little love letters to each other. Oh, that's so sweet! They now send emails too. And sometimes share a picnic. Alright then, whatever, screw this. <laughs> Are you serious? Come on, you guys! The mayor tore down the dangerous house, old house and found the gold mines. And used the gold to improve the village and the lives of all those within. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Mayor. Oh, I've been, I've been misjudging you this whole time. I thought you were an evil guy, but hey. Elsa sold her farm and went to, into a new career as a club DJ. <laughs> I didn't even see any clubs around here. Not a night goes by without her playing C4 118's cat. 118, 18, at least once. The wizard spent three days trying to escape his own house. <laughs> he now sticks to entertaining at children's parties. Aww, that's so sweet. Captain Steve cleared out the old war tunnels under the village. And they are now used by everyone to store supplies over winter. You actually got off your butt and did something useful. Proud of you. Bill finally hired a farmhand to gather the wheat for him. Thank you. God, no more free labor for you, okay? He still likes to receive it in stacks of 20. It's not a good number, you know, for, for bread making. <laughs> the high prelate and his priests escaped through the ancient pathways. You mean that thing took me like 40 minutes to do it and you did it in like one second? <gasps> they were never heard from again.